Hello, dear viewers, welcome to more Madness Project Nexus Arena Mode. Part 85, we're continuing with our mage playthrough once again, evidently. This time, we'll be doing Fickle Friends and probably some Endless Waves once we complete Fickle Friends, which I'm really looking forward to because I have a fire staff. Oh, right, I did buy one thing. Look, it's a satchel for grenades. I'm I'm a wizard. Why why would I need magic? I it grenades. Look, I could have mini javelins or matarangs, which I was playing with. No, we're gonna have flashbangs. Oh, I want to show you something real quick before we get into it. I have this tome of doom. It puts a loading symbol above people's heads, and then when it expires, they continue walking down the street without caring about you. Vandal. I made a steel wand that does a huge AOE of ice. Now, the funny thing is with steel wands is that when you reload them, it gets thrown out of your hand and you get thrown <laughs> out of the map. I got stuck in the ceiling earlier when I was messing around with it. But we want to keep our fire wand because these guys we're gonna be dealing with are like Mutants or something. I don't know. So how has your day been? Has it been going well? I hope it's been going well. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Music. By the way, you can leave, like, music suggestions or playthrough suggestions in the comments below. I read all of your comments. In other news, episodes, what, 82 and 83 got picked up by the YouTube algorithm, as evident by the fact that they have more than triple-digit views. That, that's actually how you can tell. If it got picked up by the algorithm, it's in the thousands rather than the hundreds. Like, my average is around, like, 300 views per video. So, seeing one of the, my videos get, like, 1,500, I'm like, oh, people watched it. It's so exciting. Like, you go watch people like Sips or Jesse Cox. Uh, I mean, used to be Total Biscuit. Granted, he never did Let's Plays, though. Uh, the Yogg's cast, but those were only... Do these give us any more stats? Just athletics. What is it? The Yogg's cast did primarily Minecraft. Uh, who else am I thinking about? I mean, there's X's Adventures in Minecraft. He's playing an ant game that I watched a bit of. Thanks, Cheshire and Lochnar. Look, I see you guys hiding back there. Whoops. Hey, ignore the fact that I just set a bunch of alcohol on fire, all right? We're going right on in. Yeah, he sounds more like the agent guys. Oh, yeah. Got another one. I've decided I wanted to make Morris like... Agent 47, right? You know, from the Hitman series? I wanted to use Agent 47's voice, but I can't figure out where to get the sound file. Am I, um... Okay, I thought I was one-handing the wand there, and I'm like... I want to dual-wield wands. Is that wrong of me? This poor, poor guy. You guys brought, like... I don't know, kinetic weapons to an energy weapon fight, alright? Was it necessary to throw a Molotov at the fire wizard? And then I'll just shoot the crowd some more and reload! I'm dizzy! I can't see! Here, I'll show you what the Tome of Doom does! As I kill these guys. For some reason, it can critical hit. You just wait for the timer to explode, and they explode! It's great. I don't know why it affects... Can we, can we hit teammates? These are like the only friendly guys that aren't hirelings, though, so... Maybe. I really want to try it on the big golem guys they have down below. Did they kill one of the other guys? Did both of them survive? No, I think this is the head. No, that's the head of one of the. 
Vampire hunters. Oh yeah, here he is. I think he got caught in the crossfire because his skin definitely melted off. You, you can see his skull there. Uh, it's not my fault, okay? Okay, maybe it was. I mean, you can't, like, prove that it wasn't my fault, but you can't prove that it was. He could have just been hit by a Molotov, you know? Like that. Now we get into the real fun, guys. The reason why I brought the fire wand. Yeah, yeah, you creeps. I want to see. Can I hit them with this? How long does it take? Wait, 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 where did you come from? Did he resist it? What? That's a new sound effect. This... This Uranel has a new sound effect, if you heard the glass breaking. That's not a new... The strength required to do this, and the craftsmanship on this porcelain must be out of this world to embed itself in a van like that. Where, um, the van is made out of, like, aluminum foil. That was close. Apparently what that break means is that instead of taking damage, you took tack bar damage. I'm stuck on this door. Let's see if I can hit someone with this. Yeah! I don't hear- either I don't hear that sound effect often, or it's a new one. Dude just <laughs> said I'm dead. Whack. There we go, we got out of this. I nearly lost a corpus. I should use this now. Now my question is... I gotta wait for the dizzy to go away too. The downsides of being a mage, you gotta wait for your penalties to wear off. I don't even want to know what it's like to wear a bone meat wand. Oh. Excuse me, gentlemen. You know what? I'm not done yet. Okay, to be fair, I tried to do a finisher on that golem guy and got thrown down here. Ow. Oh, you got me right out of the animation, huh? I hope you guys enjoy fire. I mean, I did bring a flamethrower one time, and that's insanely fun. I recommend you bring a flamethrower with you. If you don't have, like, any other fire stuff, I recommend the flamethrower. Let's see. Will he explode? Well, that's lame. I'm gonna make you explode that way. I killed literally everyone. Because if you kill everyone up there, you can actually just walk down here like normal. So, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that. You guys think you're going to get outsmart me? No, I haven't even lost a corpus. I thought I did, but I didn't. Ow. Yep, presto finito indeed. I always thought about, like, what would happen if I were to be, like, given a, a, a voice pack, I guess? I don't know. It's weird to think about, like, what if they make DLC for this game? Why would they make DLC for this game? They don't have to. Like, Crinkles and them are actual, like, I don't know, good developers. I mean, I guess they can make, like, collab stuff, right? Like, imagine if, I don't know, they teamed up with the guys from Team Fortress 2. You get, like, the medic voice or something. Because the only, the reason I think that would be a DLC is because the people that they'd have to get in touch with would be like, hey, yeah, you gotta, like, pay us to do that stuff. And it's like, okay, then making the DLC, like, actually worth money would make sense because they had to hire actual people to do that. Whereas them just adding one of their own voices or, like, community voice stuff... It'd just be like, hey, free update. Wazam. Oh, I missed. I want to kill those guys, and I don't know how. Am I covered in my blood or their blood? Please help. 
Do they have blood? Arena victory. I don't know if they have blood or not. I completed it, yay! Look at all that ranged experience I can't use. Another small gripe I have. Why? Why give me all this experience I can't use? That man is dead. Let's see if the one guy has anything to new. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> Look! There's new color palettes! Oh, some new glows. Regal Eye, which is just red. Colors and colors. All these just increase your stats by... Substats by five, and then your normal stats by three. And then this director's cape, which, honestly, it should increase force by one. Still the same old swords. I, I guess that's a sword. There's a creep outside. Hey, hey, yeah, I know. Please let me play the game. Thank you. <laughs> now here I should mention that you should probably go through all of the armor and everything in the game and see if, it, like, the armor you normally wear gives you different stats now because they reworked a bunch of it. I didn't say it last time. Of course, I noticed that it's mostly strive, senses, critical, and lethality. Like, barely anything affects force from what I've seen. Like, look, tactics, lethality, athletics, strive, senses, athletics, strive, strive, athletics. You know, that sort of thing. And I'm like... What about force? What if I just want someone to, like, knock people out through windows? You know? Here. I'll take a bone meat. Well, the bone meat wand, that's the ice one. So I technically have two one, two ice wands. There's hard sell. We can bring everyone now! Yay! Also, to, to all the people who, uh, like 8-Ball and think I did a good job with them, so do I. I'm really happy with how he turned out. We got Loki and Morris and Pose here. Let's go do some hard se- What was that? Someone just dropped something. One of our minion guys just dropped something. I don't think I pay them enough to care, though. So I got this new ice wand, and we're gonna see how it goes. Hope you brought enough hirelings with you, sir. We estimate it'll get rough in there. You know what? I think I'm gonna go in alone. That warning, by the way, I think it only pops up once. I don't know what they mean by that. It's like, only happens one time. It's like a one-time warning or whatever, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. Does that mean it's like once per playthrough? Once per, the uh, like, player? You can hear them crying in the distance. They're knocking over, like, shopping carts and stuff. Hey, guys. Well, it sucks that those guys are going to dodge now, because these are tracking. Like, I want to... I just want to see what they do. See? When everyone dodges out... Ah, uh, I'd like to point out the sound effects that sounded like his skin was melting, and the fact that he perfectly slid into the hole. Hey, we're missing someone. Oh my god, that's great. You know what would be even better? Like, yeah! Sure, it's it's like an ice wand and all that stuff, and I bring up Dead Rising 2, but... Oh, that's a new effect icon! Look! I gave Poe some claws. I, I think the defibrillator pads might actually be more lethal. We'll have to check it out later. See? When things are tracking... They have tack bars now! Oh my god! I mean, he got bullied, but look, he can dodge bullets slightly! I just reloaded my wand, and now I am bleeding. That's a status effect I've never seen before, either. All this new potential, and it's only on the wands. Sad. It's like there's a bunch of different bullet types. Like, I mean, this game doesn't do it, but imagine if there were, like, 20,000 different ammo types. This this game actually does that. But you couldn't use them apart from, like, one gun. And the gun just... Like, the only thing... It was, like, a mediocre gun. And the ammo types make it, like, okay to use, but there are a lot better choices. And you're just sitting there like, wow, look at all this cool stuff. I just can't use it because it's outshined by everything else. Those poor souls. 
Get him off. I just didn't even have a chance, huh? Hey, buddy. Don't do that. Ah. Uh, there we go. Hey, pal. <laughs> there is no sound or anything. He just kind of popped like a balloon. More ranged experience. Again, I can't do anything with that. Can I learn anything? I can't. I guess I need to learn unarmed. Or level up unarmed. Oh, a hard sell isn't that difficult when you got a bunch of hirelings like Loki and Morris. I just wish Loki would record more audio lines with me, but no, he doesn't do that. He's just stuck being... He's described this mask as a salad mancer mask. Where is my shrimp? What that means? I don't know. I generally don't know what that means. What is a salad mancer? It's apparently this... The... The... Tengu mask is a salad mancer mask. I don't know. Okay? That's kind of the point. But that's what he's gonna wear until he gets the Nexus Mark V. Which, oh yeah, we could buy that. I probably should have switched to a different wand. I mean, this one is funny and all, but being able to set an entire room on fire, which is pretty much just a napalm strike. You guys just sit there. No, wait, wait, I know what I want to happen. Yeah, it just kills these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot I was gonna I was gonna talk about the, the effect, like the ice effect, and I got distracted by the little icon there I've never seen before, and I'm like, ah, I like that. So what if when enemies got frozen like that, you could walk over them and they shatter into like a bunch of shards, like what happens in Dead Rising. Look, see? When you fire tracking projectiles at enemies, they will frequently do this. You know, they just constantly dodge. Now, I liked in the classic Flash version, when an enemy or the player started dodging, it would use up their attack bar. Like, just a little bit of it. So eventually, constantly dodging would mean that you would drain up your attack bar and inevitably get shot. That man started having a stroke. As I started beating him, I might be a mage, but damn, can I attack fast. April, how you doing? All right, you cover that left flank, buddy. He should be fine. I put a scope on his guns. And I, I got to thinking, is the Bren a heavy weapon? It, it's marked as a rifle under the categories. I wish that was an uh, a ability our friends could use, our hirelings could use when they were given sniper weapons, but oh well. But a, a Bren isn't actually a like heavy weapon, is it? Bye. Did I get him in there? Hold on, I have to reload. I'm bleeding. Loki, I gave you throwing... Loki, where are you? Uh, the remaining enemies are dropping as I hear... Oh, there he is. What were you doing in there, dude? Okay, did you need to split that man in half with a throwing axe? Yeah, I guess it was. Oh wow, he got me while I was dodging. I haven't even tried the irradiation thing. Mr. Sniper, stop that. Some enemies, like the really, really weak guys, explode instantly. Oh my god. That dude was just sent to like hell and back, okay? There's no getting around it. Stop dodging my ice. It's uncool of you because you're not frozen. Duh. Here, now I'll swap out of this. I still got my, like, my basic one. I guess we could equip these. Yeah. I think that's ice anyway. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, it just says damage over time. Oh no, cold buff debuff, yeah. It's an AoE ice bomb. That's what I was thinking of, because the steel wand, like the default uh, kinetic projectile or whatever, that I guess would match with steel wands, I'm guessing, because the steel wand requires a kinetic cost to reload. 
it's doesn't it's not lethal. That's all I'm gonna say. Eight balls being swarmed. Post just stabbing people with the claws. I don't think you can change on my god, dude. Is the skadoosh necessary? He skadooshed his skull into the next week. Stop hitting me with your gun! Like, I attack so quickly with, like, gun bashing or whatever. Wait, hold on. Is there a sniper around here? Money! We need that! If you haven't noticed, I've been kind of dirt poor because all of my money is spent on modding my wands. Like, I actually am using money in this playthrough. Hey, can you stop? Thanks. Oh god, no! Oh, well, there it goes. Right into the pit. It was like I was playing golf and got it perfect. I guess I'll just kick people. I tried using the rings, but all they do is add, like, little visual effects on people you kill. So I guess I could just punch people. What's nice is once you get the counter skill, if you perfect block melee weapons, you kind of bob and weave out of the way, which is nice. But here we go. Can I melee very quickly with this? No, I can't. I can make people explode, though. Get him, Loki. Wait, why did this guy just shoot the wall? I think there's a man shooting at me. Hold on, I want the sniper. See? Okay, okay, for all of you that have gotten this far, listen to this idea, right? Sniper origin, like marksman or whatever. Whenever you get a sniper rifle weapon, the sweet spot is its range. And it goes through enemies. I think snipers might already do that. But bam! There you go. Make it like you take extra damage from melee or something like that. Your weak skill would be... I guess melee weapons. Whereas your primary skill would be... You guessed it, range. I was gonna make... I was going to make a joke. Like, haha, wouldn't it be funny if I said the, th the marksman's core skill? Like, primary focus skill or whatever. Oh, it's acrobatics or unarmed or something. <laughs> see, it's like, this is a this is a magic wand, too. You can see his head is now gone. Like a magic trick. It's there. Now it's not. Just like that man. Morris, come on. There we go. Oh. Yep, his gun clipped into the wall. Don't do that. I got him just in the nick of time. Cool. Oh, right. My other one fell in the damn pit. Anybody, uh... Anybody got a bungee cord? We'll go down and get it. No. That sound effect is very familiar. I think it's in the old Flash cartoons. I wonder if any of these guys can do finishers on me. There you go, and that's Delta guy, whatever. Look at this officer. He got mulched. I might be a wizard, but I know how to use guns. Which, now that you think about it, you're using ranged, but a gun and like a staff are completely different. A magic staff are completely different, like, items, ranged weapons. Like, you, at least with, like, a crossbow. Nice place you got here. Thanks, 8-Ball. I know I can count on you. With a crossbow, the projectile is pretty much just like a sniper, but slower. Meanwhile, we're gonna equip this. The Tome of D-Res. At least they don't dodge it as much. With, like, a crossbow and a sniper are pretty much the same thing. It's just the projectiles are faster or slower and heavier and whatnot. Whereas a magic staff is something else entirely. Along with, uh, like, laser guns and stuff that you only really see in Fallout. Hey, Paul, they're gonna come from the left flank. Get over there, buddy. Oh, here's something I want to show you. There's the skill. Tactical Master. This is a highly recommended skill. 
I don't know if all of you are like into memes or not, but no, now I'm not doing it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh my god, a man. Not this an inside out man. Okay, again with the throwing axe, Loki. Jesus Christ! Is this because you don't want to use the axe on your back? Is that it? What? Oh, yeah. I guess that works. No, it doesn't one-tap the armor guys, whatever these guys are here. Oh, God. Damn. I hit the guy with two of them. Like, if this is a derezzer, I imagine it, like, scrambles the molecules or something inside of people and causes them to explode violently like they do. Meanwhile, like, bullets just go through people and all that. So if I hit him with two of those, what ended up happening was, like, his molecules were trying to explode while trying to explode. Look, a sniper. You idiot. That's such a cool, like, uh, Poe just threw someone in next week. You catch. You're lucky I can't get up there. Kick your ass. Here. I can fire up your way, though. I'm gonna grab this, guys. Hold on. I'm just gonna fix this mall real quick. Yeah, that's good. The only thing that sucks is the derezzer. I can't really get ammo for it. These guys got fixed as well. Can I pull your helmet off? Well, I guess I got his helmet off. Who, who is that? Who said that? Hello? There we go. Gotta deal with the... Why don't you do that in front of me? Eight ball, look out. And get removed. What are you, what's going on up here? Pose just beating people down. See, that's the thing I hate about the gun bashing. Like, you notice it when I have the wand, the enemies just can't do anything about it. Just whack, 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 whack. It's not powerful, but against the player, it's like, oh, now I'm stunlocked because these guys keep bashing me. They're, they're interrupting my own damn attacks. Oh, come on, try hitting him. Never mind, Loki's going to impale him with a baton. Not a bladed weapon, a baton. Oh, he's dead. I thought he just fell over. I don't know what other fun wand ideas there are. Like, you think at the end of the day, like, irradiation and acid... What other ones are there? There's, like, Bombergy? Something? I don't know. They'd all pretty much be the same. Projectiles a different color, has slightly different stats, you know? But otherwise, it's the same. I mean, fire is, is fun, but it's like all the others. I think the only different one is the rapid fire one, the yellow one that you start with. Now, and then the kinetic one. I guess the ice is cool because you never really get to see that in this game. That might actually be the only way to inflict the ice status effect. I mean, I'm a wizard, but I might just pick up a heavy machine gun. No, no, let's equip our... I, I bought it, where is it? Here it is! I got a staff now! Yay! Look at me! This one has 300 durability. Yeah, look at that, that's... Okay, to be fair, that's kind of lame. Eight ball, you, I want you over here. Okay, well, there he goes. Oh, he's back. I don't know what the symbols are. If you look by the hirelings right now, Loki has a G on it. On, like, whatever. Now he has a check mark. Morris has always had a check mark. Poe has a green arrow. I don't know what these mean. <laughs> because I'm not changing anything. Like, eight ball has the hand. The, the blue hand, which means he's gonna stay. Like a, like a good boy. Gonna cover that left flank. 
<laughs> oh my god, thank you, 8-Ball. I want to know what those balls do if they hit someone, but I use durability even if I miss. But I don't know what... Look, again, Poe has the green arrow. Yet Morris isn't following me right now. Morris is broken. There we go, he got stuck. That doesn't do a lot of damage. Kinda, kinda lame, actually. Loki going for the objective. This man going for the objective as well and paying for it. The staff is kinda lame, but I only have level... Jesus Christ. Level one, wait, core melee two. That dude just got Wamba. Oh my god, Loki and Morris up there just turned a man into, like, a barbecue. Nice tack bar. It'd be a shame if I were to just, I don't know, pick up a freaking gun. Oh, he's a wizard! Yeah. I'm also experienced in using firearms. For some reason. There he is. Loki, you want to murder that man? He just killed the sniper anyway. He'll be fine, right? 8-Ball doesn't care. Holy crap. A sniper round, a 50 cal sniper round just, like, went past his head, and all he does is, like, move slightly to the side. Oh, you're shooting at me. Idiot. There you go. You're welcome, 8-Ball. Oh, man. 8-Ball, help. Thank you. Wait, where are you... Guys, guys, the objective's over here. Where is everyone? Do what? What? At least he has like a an actual voice now. Like this guy has like some kind of hissing voice. Not like the cultist guys. What the hell are they? The guys you fight at pit stop on endless. I'm gonna say this isometric view messes with my like line of sight sometimes. Because you come over into this room, and your mind thinks, I shoot through here. No, y your line of sight's blocked right here, because this is actually a huge big wall as well. You can see it right here, but not here. At least the cameras don't screw you over, like, in Fast Track. I think I just dislike Fast Track. I don't like that level all that much. Too many guys grouped up. Don't talk to me, I didn't ask you a question. That man was having a stroke, and that was a mercy kill. Look, a big guy. Team killing... Nah, I'm not gonna quote Tucker. Did you guys just both fall into the pit? Ow. No. I can't hit. He's too close to me. Guys, he's outside my melee range. Loki, why are you so slow? Did you discover the caps lock button like I did? Like, caps lock lets you do this. You just walk to wherever you're looking. It kind of stops if you do anything. You can make yourself walk really slow. Like you're sneaking up on people. I don't know why you would do that. There we go, look. An FAL. You miss, losers, both of you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm gonna keep hitting you with flashbangs until you get stunned, damn it. He says target ineffective, but I mean, if some dude just started throwing flashbangs at you to the point where you probably had permanent eye damage, I don't know. I think he'd be like, okay, now he's kind of being effective. <laughs> Look, we can build a bridge across the gap with sniper rifles. They're so massive. <laughs> Aww. Well, now my wand has a friend. Just kidding, I knew- I know I got it back. Two tokens! I could buy more bullcrap with that! I think this episode has dragged on long enough, though. <laughs> Look, everybody leveled up! Yay! Uh. Yeah, Morris. <laughs> Yeah. 
Again, I wanted to give him Agent 47 voice clips, but I don't know where to get any of those. I can't, I can't find, like, the actual files to download. Because, no, I'm not gonna go to a YouTube video that's, like, two hours long and hope that by combing through it, I find the random voice lines I want. I do that enough for Devil May Cry 5 back when, when I did Samurai Saturday, which... Eh, kind of lost the will to do that. But only for the fact that I only get 10 views. I mean, my other videos also only get 10 views. But that's because I don't show them at the beginning of my videos, the popular ones, like everybody else does. I mean, this is, this is like how I'm supposed to tell you only like 5,000 percentage of you aren't subscribed to me. So like you should subscribe to me and then pull up like YouTube analytics or something. But I mean, I would probably just Photoshop it to say 95% of you are subscribed to me and 95% of you are not subscribed to me. Which is very confusing that there's two 95%. Can I sit on the sofa? I can't. What? Oh my god, you can! Yay! You just jump off the side. What? <laughs> this isn't even a TV! This is like a monitor from downstairs showing you like, Hey, check out all this stuff we're looking at, boss. Why would you have this hung up in your room? No, no, no. Scratch that. Scratch that. I'm gonna end the episode. I don't know how long it's been, but I don't want it to go too long. Because I think like 25 minutes or so is like the sweet spot for these videos, and this probably went on past that. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Take care. I'll catch you next time.